Welcome to Sibspot. Today's stories from Reddit are from the subreddit, I don't work here, lady. Our first story is by My Lawyers Amorty. Gotta love the hospitality industry. I am in restaurant management and have been in the industry for almost 12 years. I am very comfortable in the workplace and walk pretty confidently. I'm also very aware of my surroundings, having been burned, run into, dropped things, etc. If you know the industry, we call corner, behind, stick out our arms to let people pass. Anyways, we are on a road trip and driving through the sleepy town and it was getting late. The only thing open in town is Red Lobster, so we go in. It was packed. Red Lobster always is. After we order, I get up to use the restroom. I pass a server with a very full tray, and she looked like she was struggling and sucked my arm out to let her through, and said, You good girl? She laughed and said she was fine. I come out of the restroom, and as I'm walking back to the table, this older woman grabs my arm hard and starts screaming about their lack of cheddar biscuits. Total Karen. Super aggro. I pull my arm away and say, Ma'am, I'm so sorry, but I don't work here, kind of chuckling to ease the tension. She proceeds to get angrier. I saw you help that girl. I know you're the manager. How rude of you to ignore a valued customer. I just laughed and walked away. I walked up to host Stan and told the host about what happened just in case the server got in trouble. He asked which table and I casually pointed to it. His response had me on the floor, laughing. He rolled his eyes so hard, shaking his head and saying, Mother effing Ethel, I'm sorry. She is probably the most evil person on the planet, but her family owns like half the town, so unfortunately we're at her effing mercy. A few minutes later, the manager comes over to our table super apologetic and says he'll comp our meal. I told him absolutely not. I do the same job and we have dealt with so much worse. There are lots of names that it feels like mostly older ladies have. Ethel is definitely one of them. And I, I don't mean to offend anybody who has any one of these names. It's, it's just kind of the truth. Edith, Eleanor, Dorothy, Matilda, Agnes. It's just the truth. Edith is also a pretty name, and it's also part of the name of a video game that I enjoyed years ago. It's like a short story video game. Story 2 is by Anon1123345. I used to work here. I used to work at a big box home improvement store as a delivery coordinator. In other words, I pulled items off the shelves for deliveries so I knew where most things were. About a year after I moved on to Greener Pastures, I just so happened to be in the same store with my roommate. She and I had gone in with different projects that we were trying to get done. As such, my roommate went back to plumbing while I went over to tools. Being that I knew exactly what I needed and where to get it off the shelf, I grabbed what I needed and headed back to plumbing to help the roommate. As I got there, she was looking through the aisles at different things that were close but not exactly what she needed. I asked her what it was she was looking for and took her right to it. As soon as we got it, we turned and started to head to the front to check out. No sooner as we started to walk away, this stereotypical Karen steps in front of me and says, I was here first. Not being very quick on the uptake, I just said, uh, okay, and tried to step around her. Karen again steps in front of me and says she needed a dryer vent tube. I basically said that they were on the wall in the corner and again started to walk away. The roommate and I get about halfway to the front of the store and this Karen suddenly yells out, Oh, I see. You'll only help the pretty girls. At this point, she has not only my attention, but the attention of multiple of my former co-workers. I stopped mid-stride and turned to look at her. I said, I don't work here. Karen yells, but you helped her. I said, we're here together. Notice that I'm not wearing a vest like employees do. Karen apparently can't process this because she turns to my roommate and says, your looks won't last forever, missy. Eventually, the help won't help you either. By now, my manager is speed walking towards us along with a couple of store employees. As the manager walks up, I say hi and mentioned his name. Karen took this, as I definitely worked there. She started to loudly complain that she was there first and she wanted me fired. I said to manager, I'll save you the trouble. I guess I quit again. 
The manager, still trying to figure out what's going on, says, You quit over a year ago. Karen finally seems to figure out what's going on. Without another word to manager, roommate, or myself, she turns to an actual employee and said she needed a dryer vent tube. The manager walked my roommate and I to the exit. About halfway home, my roommate starts laughing and says, We have to go back. We didn't pay for any of the stuff we got. Just so we are clear, I actually went back the next day, spoke to the manager, and paid for the items. This lady in the story sounds super bitter that her looks aren't working to get help anymore. She can't just listen to the guy and understand that he actually doesn't work there and was helping his roommate. Oh, no, 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 no. It must be something she personally finds bothersome. Our third story is by Ferdo. Not very diplomatic. This is a repeat of a response that I made to someone else's posting, so sorry about repeating myself. Was suggested that I post it separately. Not long after graduating college, I got a job in the D.C. area. One Saturday, I went to the grocery store, feeling lousy due to my spring allergies and in a bad mood. As I was walking down an aisle, an Asian man tapped me on the shoulder and demanded that I get some item that I'd never heard of. I first tried to tell him that I didn't work there, and I didn't know what he was talking about, but he ignored that and repeated his demand louder. I tried to tell him again and started walking away, but he grabbed me and started shouting gibberish. I told him I couldn't understand his broken English and that he'd better let go or he'd get punched. I'm not sure that he understood what I was saying, but the look on my face probably scared him off. Probably didn't hurt that I was much bigger than him. Later, as I waited in the checkout line, I heard that Asian guy was making a commotion. He had a manager with him and was pointing at me while screaming about how rude I was to him. Claimed to be a Vietnamese diplomat who deserved to be treated like royalty. And now there was another guy with him, whom I'd never seen before, who claimed that I was rude to him too. They wanted the manager to fire me. The manager tried to explain that he couldn't fire me because I was a customer. Outside after paying for my stuff, I encountered these Vietnamese again at their limousine that they had parked right in front of the store in the fire lane. They started jabbering at me again. I could not make sense of most of it. So I took my notepad and pen out of my pocket, walked right around to the back of their car, wrote down their license plate number. They asked what I was doing. I told them that I had a friend who worked for the FBI, which was true, who had advised me to write down and give him the information from any diplomatic or congressional plates where I had trouble, which was also true. The Vietnamese soon left, and I never saw them again. I did give the info to my FBI friend, but had never heard anything that came from it. This one just this one just feels like it might have been caused by a language barrier. Like, it could have gone a lot more smoothly if they understood each other. But there's no reason for them to get rude and the one guy to lie and say he was rude to him too when he wasn't even there. It's just absurd. Our final story today is by Milky Bees Trigger 69. I can't work everywhere, can I? Forgive me if this isn't the right place for this. I don't frequently post on Reddit. Primarily just a passive scroller. Please let me know if I need to make any edits or if I'm breaking any rules and I'll fix it. I have been asked questions from random patrons in completely random types of retail stores, restaurants, corporate offices that aren't mine, car dealerships, etc. You name it, I have probably been asked if I work there, or asked a question by a patron assuming I work there without even thinking about it. Recently, I was in a Target store in my city just picking up some snacks for the road trip I was going on the next day. I am wearing a blue t-shirt, joggers, and black sneakers. Thankfully, this was not a rude patron. I was approached and asked, Excuse me, do you work here? I asked because of the blue shirt you're wearing in the Target. Completely ignoring the fact that I had a basket full of road tripping snacks, mind you. I take about 10 seconds to calmly respond with, No, I don't work here. 10 seconds give them a chance to think about what they just said. Think about, Does this make sense? I just walk away with my items awkwardly and no longer acknowledging this person and their presence. Also, recently, I was walking around a department store looking through some shorts to try on. Here in this store, I'm wearing a golf shirt, shorts, and a pair of loafers. While browsing and holding a pair, I ended up trying on and buying. I hear a random, Could you help me check out so I can leave? While being tapped on my shoulder. 
I take a very long stare at this man, just thinking to myself, what the heck about anything I'm wearing gives you the indication that I work here? Before simply stating that I did not work there. The immediate response from this clearly confused man is, well, what am I supposed to do if you don't work here and can't help me? I just immediately walk away, mildly annoyed at the sheer confusion of this clueless soul. At a car dealership, I had an appointment to have my car serviced for an oil change, as well as a couple of maintenance-related items. I'm sitting in the waiting room while waiting on the mechanics to finish working on my car. I'm working on my work laptop while wearing a collared, short sleeve shirt, that's the name of my company on it, slacks, and a pair of loafers. Just completely minding my own business getting some work done, when out of nowhere I hear what sounds like a Karen yelling, GET ME YOUR MANAGER! with several footsteps approaching me, and what I assume to be an employee trying to calm this person down. I try to ignore it until I feel breathing directly in my face, and this woman is standing directly over me in the chair, furious over something, of which I am not sure. I try to ignore this woman until she yells out at me, Are you just going to sit there? Your employee is being extremely rude, and I deserve a discount. Give it to me now. I just simply respond with, Do I know you? I don't work here. Please leave me alone. By this point, enough employees at the dealership had come over to separate this woman from the other employee there and I. I roll my eyes at her as she is escorted out of the building and she continued to point at me and yell something. I wasn't able to make it out as it was unintelligible. This is only a few of these countless occasions. I honestly mind it a lot less if the person asking happens to be polite and friendly. However, it's still fairly annoying in my view since it just seems to be that nobody's walking through the logic of if this random somebody works here based on their attire. None of these made sense in my view, and understand that this is only a minor inconvenience to me, but I simply find these unsolicited asks to be irritating. Does anyone else here experience this on a regular basis, the way I do? I'm genuinely curious. The replies mostly said that this guy must look very employable. He keeps describing his outfit, and it's like a nice collared shirt, some loafers, and some nice shorts, or some nice slacks. But the reply from she who loves to draw down below, put it best, and I'll just share that here. You seem to dress nice everywhere you go. Collared shirts, slacks, loafers. A lot of people see such an attire as the default managerial aesthetic and just make bold assumptions. Using a laptop at the dealership would also seem very managerial to anyone looking for a manager. Even in a grocery store setting, wearing a simple t-shirt and black shoes standard color in a lot of retail positions, can scream employee slash manager to someone who is specifically looking for an employee. It could also be a sense of this person knows what they're doing, therefore they must be an employee. So stop looking so confident. Lol. The stories are over. That's all for today. All finished. Until we meet again, have an outstanding day.